Norwich is a city and district of Norfolk, England, of which it is the county town. As the seat of the See of Norwich, with one of the country's largest medieval cathedrals, it is the largest city in East Anglia. These figures are dedicated to Norfolk born Stephen Fry, Lord Nielsen and Edith Cavell. Vice Admiral Horatio Nielsen, also known simply as Admiral Nielsen, was a British flag officer in the Royal Navy. He is widely regarded as one of the greatest naval commanders in history. Stephen John Fry is an English actor, broadcaster, comedian, director and writer. Edith Cavell was a British nurse who is celebrated for saving the lives of soldiers from both sides without discrimination and for helping some 200 allied soldiers escape from German occupied Belgium during the First World War. In May 2012, Norwich was designated England's first UNESCO City of Literature. One of the UK's popular tourist destinations, it was voted by The Guardian in 2016 as the happiest city to work in the UK. River Wensum flows through the city centre towards Norwich Castle. Pulse Ferry is a former ferry house located on the river Wensum. It is a flint building and was once a 15th century water gate. The name Pulse recalls John Pull, who became ferryman in 1796 and stayed in the post until his death in 1841. It was the route for the stone used to build Norwich Cathedral, a canal specifically built by the monks used to run under the arch, where the Normans ferried the stone and building materials to be unloaded on the spot. Norwich claims to be the most complete medieval city in the United Kingdom. The Bishop Bridge spans the river Wensum at the western edge of the Norwich Cathedral Quarter. The bridge was built in 1340 and is still in use, making it one of the oldest active bridges in England. Robert Kett and the Earl of Warwick's troops fought a battle on the approach to the bridge in 1549. One of the earliest purpose-built artillery blockhouses in England, the Cow Tower was built in 1398-99 to control a strategic point in Norwich city defences.
the tower was intended to house guns and a garrison of gunners to defend the approach to the city across the river Wensum. Its height of nearly 50 feet was necessary to overlook the high ground on the opposite bank. The ground floor may have been a communal dining room when the tower was garrisoned, with sleeping quarters on the upper two levels. It seems likely that the tower's name is derived from the surrounding meadow, previously known as Cow Home. The Dragon Hall on King Street is a unique Grade 1 listed medieval trading hall dating from around 1430. It is one of Norwich's medieval architectural gems and an iconic building in the city. It is one of Norwich's 12, the iconic buildings of Norwich, and is symbolic of city's historical role as a major textile production center. It is thought to be unique in being the only trading hall in Northern Europe to be owned by one man. Built in the 11th and 12th century, St. Julian's Church in Norwich is a Grade 1 listed parish church. Julian of Norwich, also known as Juliana of Norwich, Dame Julian or Mother Julian, was an English anchoress of Middle Ages. Her writings, known as Revelations of Divine Love, are the earliest surviving English language works by a woman. They are also the only surviving English language works by an anchoress. The Anglo-Saxons settled the site of the modern city sometime between the 5th and 7th centuries, founding the towns of Northwick, from which Norwich takes its name. In 575 AD, Anglo-Saxon King Ufa made Northwick a royal city and capital of East Anglia. Richard the Lionheart gave Norwich a royal charter to become a city in 1194 because of its bustling market, the expanding textile trade and strong agricultural roots.
the All Saints Antique Center with over 25 dealers housed within a redundant grade 1 medieval church offering a wide range of quality antiques, collectibles, vinyl retro and vintage clothing. Norwich Castle is a medieval royal fortification in the city. William the Conqueror ordered its construction in the aftermath of the Norman conquest of England. The castle was used as a girl from 1220 to 1887. In 1894, the Norwich Museum moved to Norwich Castle.
Narich Market is an outdoor market consisting of around 200 stalls founded in the latter part of the 11th century to supply Norman merchants and settlers moving to the area following the Norman conquest of England. St. Peter Mancroft is a parish church in the center of Norwich. After the two cathedrals, it is the largest church in Norwich and was built between 1430 and 1455. Norwich Guild Hall is a municipal building on the Gaol Hill in the city. It was built between 1407 and 1413 and a Grade 1 listed building. It was commissioned after King Henry IV awarded a charter to the city of Norwich, giving it autonomy from the country of Norfolk. The City Hall is an Art Deco building completed in 1938, which houses the City Hall for the City of Norwich. It was officially opened by King George VI and Queen Elizabeth on 29th of October 1938. Sculptor Alfred Hardman created these pair of two bronze lion statues that have guarded the entrance to the City Hall for more than 80 years now. The City Hall is one of Norwich 12, a collection of 12 heritage buildings in Norwich deemed of particular historical and cultural importance. It is Grade 2 listed. St. Giles Church is a grade 1 listed parish church in Norwich. The church is medieval and is noted in the Domesday Book of 1086. The present St. Giles Church has its origins in 1386.
The Cathedral Church of Saint John the Baptist is the Roman Catholic Cathedral of the city of Norwich. The cathedral was constructed between 1882 and 1910 to designs by George Gilbert Scott Jr as a parish church dedicated to John the Baptist on the site of the Norwich City Gaol.
one of Norwich's most historic buildings, this magnificent Tudor house has been home to many of the city's leading citizens since the 14th century. Although Strangers Hall has been the home of many varied members of society, including a solicitor and a dance master, it is most notable as the residence of numerous mayors of Norwich having first served this purpose in 1340. Garset House dates back to 1589 and is also known as Armada House. This is founded upon a local tradition which says that timbers used in the construction of the building were salvaged from the ill-fated Spanish Armada of the Norfolk coast. St. Andrew's Hall and Brackfriars Hall are a grade 1 listed set of friary, church and convent buildings in Norwich, dating back to the 14th century. They make up the most complete friary complex surviving in England. Tombland is the very heart of Norwich, the centre of activity here before the Normans arrived in England in 1066. In this area was the palace of the Earl of East Anglia and St. Michael's Church, the largest in Norwich. The award-winning Maid's Head Hotel is one of the oldest hotels in the UK, dating back over 800 years. The name Tombland comes from two English words meaning open ground or empty space. This open ground was used as the main marketplace for Norwich, the hub of commercial activity and town life. Elm Hill is a historic cobbled lane in Norwich, with many buildings dating back to the Tudor period.
Elm Hill acquired its name from the elm trees that have successfully stood in the square since the first quarter of the 16th century when the church wardens of St Peter Hungate church planted the first one. This impressive two-story flint and stone gateway dates to about 1316. It was erected by the citizens of Norwich as a penalty for burning the earlier church of St. Ethelbert during a violent dispute with the monks of the cathedral in 1272. The upper chamber was originally used as a chapel but is now a classroom. The gateway was heavily restored in the early 19th century and again in the 20th century. This bronze statue of Lord Wellington by C.C. Adams commemorates England's greatest soldier. His army defeated Napoleon at the Battle of Waterloo in 1815. He subsequently twice became the Prime Minister and died in 1852. The Erfingham Gate is a magnificent flint and stone gateway that stands opposite the west face of the Norwich Cathedral presenting a very tall arch towards tombland. Built around 1420, it was donated by Sir Thomas Irpingham, who commanded Henry V's archers at the Battle of Agincourt. Inside the niche is a kneeling figure of Sir Irpingham. Norwich Cathedral is an Anglican cathedral dedicated to the Holy and Undivided Trinity. It is the Cathedral Church of the Church of England, Diocese of Norwich and is one of the Norwich 12 heritage sites. The magnificent Romanus Cathedral is set in 44 acres of beautiful grounds, locally known as the village within the city. 
It is an awe-inspiring, welcoming building with spectacular architecture, magnificent art and a fascinating history. Its construction began in 1096 and was completed in 1145 with the Norman tower still seen today topped with a wooden spire covered with lead. An Anglo-Saxon settlement and two churches were demolished to make room for the buildings. The cathedral spire measuring at 315 feet is the second tallest in England despite being partly rebuilt after being struck by lightning in 1169.
Norwich Cathedral has the second largest cloisters in England, only exceeded by those at Salisbury Cathedral. The Cathedral Close is one of the largest in Europe and has more people living within it than any other close.